Hi everyone, Game Talk, Feyenoord Ajax. Uh, we just got slaughtered, 6-0. Uh, Puppy Mental, it's your turn to talk about the game. Unfortunately, you've been scheduled for this one. Uh, I can see it already on your face. You're not happy. Nobody is. Um, what is there to analyze, basically? Because we're here to analyze stuff, look at players individually, look at the system, look at tactics. What should we talk about, honestly? We were outplayed, outskilled, outpressed, outrun, everything by Feyenoord. So there's not much to discuss about this, except that the tactics were really wrong. Uh, this formation is really not my formation. Uh, I look at Ajax just creating one or two chances in a match. It's like, this is not the Ajax I grew up with. It's not the Ajax I want to see. And this season, yeah, we knew it was going to be a struggle and it's been a struggle, but it's never, it's not looking like we're growing or it's getting better. It's it's still the same Ajax that we saw in the beginning of the season when we have these better opponents on the ball. We're incapable of just passing normally. Uh, movement is too static in the team. These tactics are also not my tactics. John van het Schip is hugely mistaken by playing these tactics. It, it, it gives much less opportunities or options to pass forward. Uh, so what we see is only um, a horizontal passing and, and back passing and nothing is going vertical. Uh, it, we don't stretch the pitch enough with a 5-3-2, uh, you know, when you have a wing back stretches as much as you can, um, uh, play on one side, let them move to your position, switch it at least, you know, none of that. And uh, you see when the tempo goes up, when we get pressed, uh, it takes too long on the ball. I don't know if it takes too long on the ball because we don't have options to get the ball, but it's just... It's just lethargic. It's static. It's we have this curse at Ajax that every pass has to go backwards and horizontal before we we go forward. It's man, I'm I'm so over the season. I'm 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 tired. I'm mentally just drained uh, by watching this team at, at times. We haven't won or played a good good game for ages now. Again, uh, just look at the results. So there's a lot of frustration. Uh, but it's also knowing that this team cannot do much better. Yeah, some players, some structure is getting in there. But with this formation, we're not going to get there. This team is still out of balance. We need we need a transfer window to 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 set this up properly, man. Because seriously, we're again we're playing without wingers. Hotz was not on his best, so Bergwijn is never on his best. Played. This is our captain, only screaming fuck when we can see the goal, but. 30 million, and he hasn't proved anything for us in the last two seasons. So I'm so pissed. You know, of, of course, we expected as Ajax fans not to uh, win this game, but at least the intention to win, to win battles, to, to, to at least get a draw out of it, something showing that you want something out of this game. But it was no press, just waiting for Feyenoord to come. And, uh, yeah, I mean, if you know Feyenoord at all with their tactics, everything they do is only press. They continuously press you. So what would be handy? To keep the ball in the back and playing it around or move the ball sooner up front? I know the answer, but apparently John von Schip and his team are incapable of doing it or are not getting the tactics that they require because it, it looked lost today, Juan. And, um, yeah, give me the questions. Yeah, I just wanted to ask you. You know, uh, look, I see a couple of uh, I see a couple of uh, people uh, <clears throat> reacting. It's very easy to talk about players, you know. And uh, I said, I think a few weeks ago, that you know, considering the season, considering what we're going through, it's not fair to judge the players anymore. But still, today I felt like some players from which we expect certain standards. Uh, I will talk about Hato, maybe Kaplan. You expect, you know, uh, due to what they've shown recently, even this season that they can have a certain level, but even they were not able to sustain that level today. Everybody was making mistakes, everybody. I think the only only person that can say, okay, I had a decent game today was Rudy. Yeah, just oh, because well, he had a lot of saves, but he made mistakes as well, Juan, with his passing in the yeah, press. Yeah, but still, but still, he didn't make the mistakes to a certain extent like the other players did. The other players, there's no not one player that reached his normal level. You know, with Rudy, you can also say he just came from the bench because Ramai just got injured. 
playing at the uh, Klassieker, the Kaag, etc. But I felt like his teammates left him, uh, ab abandoned him basically because he had to deal with everything himself. But apart from that, what I'm trying to, my question, I didn't come up to my question. Mm. My question is how come players like Kaplan and Hato, and maybe I'm forgetting one or two other players who are decent players individually, how come they are struggling as well? In your view, because because the structure doesn't give you many options up front, and the only thing we're doing is playing the long ball, because we have no options on the midfield. We're playing with two there, so three players from Feyenoord is constantly on the press there, and you're not finding the sides. You're not finding Taylor on the side. You're not finding Guy on the side. And even when they when they get the ball on the side, they lose the ball too easily. They don't make an action. It's always the back pass. It's always a horizontal pass. It's nothing about this way of playing is attractive nothing about it has attacking intention not a i mean when you play this tactic with this team you're you're you just want to uh, minimize the cons conceding goals and you're not thinking about uh, uh scoring and, and that's the whole problem we're, we're, we're not creating anything we're not scoring i mean reichhoff did have two big chances i must say one of them should go in uh but if that's all your chances in the whole match man this this is humiliating. It's 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 frustrating, uh, and also you can blame the coaches, Juan. We're we're almost at the end of the season. You still don't see patterns of play. You don't see movement of the ball. Um, we don't press the way Feyenoord does. I mean, this is all trainable to me, um, and and we we choose to to go into a different formation, which next year will not be our formation. We already lost the season. Why are we still playing this formation? Just go back well, to 4 according, three. Let them get used to it, man. Yeah. We have Hots back. We have Bergwijn. Okpom was on the bench. Broby could play 20 minutes. Why play this system? According to Van der Schip, this system brings more stability. And I'm not even being sarcastic. That's what really what he said a couple of times. Well, I must disagree with John Van der Schip because if you don't have an attacking option forward to pass the ball, you get this kind of football. And then you are, uh, you are actually playing into Feyenoord's game just wanting to press and holding you back the whole time. I mean, we're playing long balls. Give at least the guys that are playing the long balls three options up front. If you uh, uh, don't want to play with three up front, at least let the wing backs move up front so you have options. Like what, what Roma did to us uh, in the Europa League with Spinazzola. Move from one side, spread to the other, and 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 just use the space that you're getting but even that we're not doing man and you can talk about the individual quality but uh it's also pattern of play you don't see any good play in attacking they don't know what to do with the ball uh going forward it's only back passing and in the defense circulating the ball with the keeper this is not ajax football this is back to frank de boer football maybe worse no not maybe worse it is worse even from the boer was not like this let's be honest um look you already brought it up i have to ask this question i know it's it's a silly question to ask because under normal circumstances we're not going to get rid of a coach at the, uh, towards the end of the season but it seems like it's getting worse and worse um we have 20 next week who says we're going to be better we don't know so and we're risking now because i think we're six now correct me if i'm wrong guys i think we're six in the table right now um, Utrecht, go ahead, Eagles, they're very close to us. We can start playing playoffs. And who says we have a guarantee of qualifying for the Conference League then? So we what would no you do? What would you do? Would you stick with Van het Schip? Are we being very emotional to question that right now, in your view? I think changing Van het Schip at this moment will have no uh, upside. So just let him finish the season, Juan. It's, it's only eight games, seven games now. So... Um, Five, I think, six, five, five or six. But that's excluding the playoffs again, Papi Mental. I agree. And I'm not happy with, with Van het Schip, but you have to respect the man for entering Ajax in such a terrible situation. It's not his team. It's not his quality players. It's so I'm, I'm you know, that's why I'm not going fully ranting mode and hating on him because he's doing the best he can and he's not the best coach. He shouldn't actually be a coach at Ajax. But he's helping us out, and just let him finish the season, and then we 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 look forward, Juan. But this season, uh, we have seen better games. Uh, Feyenoord is just a much better team than we are. We have to admit that it's humbling. I know. I hate to say it as well. It feels like poison in my mouth to say it, but that's the reality we have to go through. 
finish this season, go back to 43, get back to the basics, uh, learn how to freaking press because I'm I'm so annoyed by how we were playing at the moment. Um, and um, yeah, just look at it as a, a rebuild for next season uh, and just a way to test these players that you still want to keep for next season and who you want to sell. Because if, if you look at the level that they need to bring today, nobody really brought the level and you have to question also the, the players' abilities. All right. Um, <clears throat> I think you said it all. Let me go to the comments quickly. If you guys have any questions for Papimento, let us know. Um, there are a couple of uh, comments. I will go to a couple. Uh, but if there is a question, I will, of course, also bring it up. Um, so let's yeah, see. Of course. <clears throat> Greg is saying, no matter what, I love you guys. <laughs> we love you too, man. Um, Javid is saying, can we assume that Ajax has no real supporters in the Netherlands? Really can't understand why after such a season with this kind of cherry on top of the cake, you're still not in riots. Well, I don't know. Um, maybe because... Can I answer that one? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Yeah. yeah. I will tell you exactly why we're not in a riot. Because we love our club. And hating on our club now is not going to change the situation. That from management to to the quality of the players on the pitch, everything has changed. And that's not going to change this season. Uh, this, this, this team didn't even have a normal uh, um, preseason uh, with the full team. Uh, with late players coming in at the last moment. How many coaches did we have in the last two seasons? How many changes in management did we have in the last two seasons? Um, uh, how was the scouting in the last two seasons? From top to bottom, Ajax is just sick and Ajax needs the rebuild. And actually, Ajax fans should be happy that this is happening to them because this is a sign to the board that they're doing something very wrong. And, and that's the message we should take from this uh, because I think not even a supporter would have done so bad as what they have done the last two years clear progressive was saying my club is dead i have no words for this disgrace what kind of crap is being delivered on the pitch it should have easily been double figures with a bullshit of a match yeah yeah i feel sorry for everyone to be honest who had to go through this um young rock is saying 90 minutes of nothing but haram ball one shot on target the whole game this club gets me bullied in school not, not even haram ball man just inshallah ball Hoping the ball will fall near uh, Bergwijn or something. Yeah. Young Rock is also saying, I will never forgive uh, the RVC and uh, Sven Mislintat. So the supervisory board is the RVC. Me neither, <clears> but, <throat> but just add Van der Sar uh, to that as well. Van der Sar as well, yeah. Uh, Puncher, Puncher, Puncher. Guys, uh, we're all sad, of course. Almost numb by now. Um, but hey, I can uh, fight, can freeze, you can win and can lose. But there's no better club than Ajax. Of course. I mean... It's true. It's bigger. Our love is bigger than anything, right? Um, Milenio is saying, uh, playing five at the back with Linson and Taylor Ranch Ruli on the team is suicide. The team is brain dead. The manager is brain dead. The organization cannot appoint CEO is also brain dead. Yeah, just like you said, Papi. Everything is uh, just uh, rotten at the moment. Uh, people, Yeah, so Beren is saying, uh, skip out. Uh, DC is saying, so many records are broken in one day. Unbelievable. Um, but seriously, Juan, I have a question for you. Out yeah. of this game, because mm -hmm. this, these are the games, right, that you look at and you say, okay, these players are good enough to continue with us as a starter next season. I haven't seen any. Everyone yeah. was below par today. Yeah. Look, uh, my I have a slightly different view. Uh, I stopped like a few weeks ago to judge too harsh on the players because um, I think it's football tactics, structure, which is clearly lacking. The players are not used to this. Um, a lot of players are new, so they are playing with you know the team for the first time uh, that we bought last summer. So that's already something. They come from abroad. That's something. But the worst part is there is no clear structure. You saw also Kaplan making mistakes, how to make mistakes in the build-up play, because I honestly think they didn't know who to give the ball to or what to do at a certain moment. That's, like you said, trainable. These are things that players should do automatically. They should know when they get the ball or receive the ball what the next uh, oh, options right. should be. There are no options to play for, uh, to play to another player. It's all like um, static football. I already said it a couple of times as well. So I'm not saying all the players should be, um, should be you know, like all players are good enough. That's not what I'm saying, just to be clear. There are some players that are not, in my view, Ajax material. You know, but Hato, Kaplan, these kind of players, like what we saw today, we saw that they are much better than this. So there has to be yeah. a, another reason. 
in my opinion. So that's that's my view on it. Um, let me go with Jules. He's saying that dribble was super unnecessary. You're 100%, but he showed attitude. Tahirovic, too. He's responding to Yavid. Let me see. Lawrence is saying therapy sessions. I think it's no longer therapy sessions. It's just, I don't know what it is, to be honest. Suicide hotline. Suicide hotline. So I'll be saying, I hope Papi will do the same justice and rent this shit up. I would have loved to do this, but shit happens. Skippy out now. Yeah, he's not having it. I'm getting called as well. Sorry for that. Um, uh, what else do we have? Just quickly. BRN is saying, sarcastically, of course, which system, which tactics? Yeah. Tony, let's start talking about next year. That's the thing. That's that's perhaps also something we should touch upon a little bit now because now it's a game talk. But with Cruz, the thing that's happening, first we thought, okay, at least we have something to look forward to. Now that's also a whole question mark. What will happen? Will he stay? Will the RVC maybe be knocked out? We don't know anything. So that's the bigger worry for me, that we don't know what will happen next season. There is no guarantee we'll be better next season. We don't know who our next coach will be. You know, all these kinds of things. Yeah. yeah, but I see that a little bit different. Look, for me, the management has, of course, it has to be set up. But for me, uh, other teams are already setting up their team for next season. They're already buying. They're already scouting. They're already yeah. doing. Yeah. That's something we can do without uh, the CEO being there. Uh, we still have Calvin DeLonga. We still have short uh, communication. This should be also already be d- being done with us. And if we're talking about our team, I think we're missing key players uh, on certain positions. But if you get them, I think we can have a decent team for next season. It's not that far no, off. I disagree. I disagree with that. Good coach. Juan, no, we need a good coach. Exactly. Exactly that. I think the coach is much more important right now. That's that's like the most important thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but a coach without a right winger... Uh, or without a new uh, left back or right back, uh, we were struggle. We will struggle again. Juan. We're missing key positions uh, in certain areas. You cannot I understand. Uh, this makes I understand. Sense. Yeah, I understand that. But what I'm trying to say is, you can get all the players you want if you don't have a good coach that can get the best out of them. There's no point. Yeah, exactly. All right. So Keith is saying, uh, whoever talked trash about from the Boer football, remember the game. Remember this game. Sorry, we got first and the only shot in eighty. Two minutes. If you stop watching Frank de Boer Ajax, but watch this Klasiker 90 minutes, you guys do not ju- do justice to Frank de Boer. Hey, don't drag me into this. I- I'm not hey, saying that- anything about Frank de Boer. That was my personal opinion, and I stand behind it. That's the worst football I've ever seen, and this comes close. Bjorn is saying, I said worse statistics than the amateurs. According to some, we have worse players than them. It surely can't be the coach. I'm not saying it's only the coach. I'm, I'm saying he plays a huge part, to be honest. Because who says the coaches that we had? Honestly, look at the past coaches that we had. Who was a good coach in your opinion in the last two seasons? Is that for the viewers? Because... Anyways, uh, yeah, just moving. <laughs> yeah, anyways. Um, <clears throat> uh, only for the week is saying... John said we should be better and braver on the ball. Clearly, there was no game plan, if that's his analysis after this performance. Sorry, guys, I'm a bit sick. My my throat is hurting, so sorry for that. Uh, the players did exactly what, what was expected from them. Uh, Gabriela Guimaraes is saying, Hi, fellas, I'm the Brazilian guy commenting in Twitter. Hi, Gabriel. Sorry you have to go through this. I think you tweet. I think you you woke up to watch this game, right? Uh, you told you said something about that, so yeah. Um, Beren is saying even Vos and Maduro did a better job in three days training time. Yeah, so you know there's a lot of people uh, basically commenting that this is not good. It's it's a it's a disgrace, and we're looking also at tactics. We're looking at the players. It's everything basically, uh, Popimento. Um, Rafael is saying it's a similar problem that. I think Chelsea have, there's no experience in this team. There's no one to look up to, especially for those new and young players. They can't look up to the coach either. That's the only difference with Chelsea is these players do have quality. Yeah, AFC, I, uh, AFC is saying, which is a good comment, by the way, according to Dutch law, within 30 days, a new CEO needs to be appointed now. Yeah, that's true. Um, so let's see how that, how that pans out. 
Don Carlo, honestly, Graham Potter would be a good fit for Ajax. Uh, plays good football and is available. Works well with young players. Yeah, let's if see. He could start now. If he could start now, then okay, let uh, John van het Schip move into his new position and uh, give Graham Potter his uh, his uh, his time with Ajax already now, so he can set it up properly for next season. Yeah, you. But you just said that. Let's just you know swallow it and swallow the pill. Because yeah, I mean, swallow the pill because we don't know which the coach is. But if we're certain it's going to be Graham Potter, let him start now. If it's already set, let let him go. Let him start. Wouldn't you? I, I wouldn't bind him. Yeah, wouldn't you want I him would, to have a fresh start, fresh start no. in the summer? No? No, right. then, uh, with Ten Hag, uh, the first six months also took a while before he, he got his team implemented in the style they wanted. So maybe it's better for him to start a little earlier. Yeah. Now that Govelli is saying, what about Van Praag? He's about to leave too. Uh, we don't know. Um, we don't know what's happening or what will happen, to be honest. Uh, we will know in a short, uh, shortly, soon, this week, hopefully. <clears throat> um, BRN is saying, I really hope the Potter deal goes through. Really trust him. Um, Gabriel is saying, yes, Juan, that's me. So he woke up early to watch the game. Malayo is saying, I woke up at 5.30. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, let's see, what else do we have? Rono is saying, hi, our ultra is going to the arena waiting to the bus. Um, not sure. Just like Papimento just said, you know, the thing is, What's the point? There is not one person to blame. I mean, yes, we can look at Van het Schip. I, I blame Van het Schip and the technical staff to a certain extent, but it's not only him. It's the management. It's uh, the way things are set up. It's the lack of who, who's in control. No CEO yet. Um, the players are not good enough. Everything. So you can be upset as a fan, which I totally understand. Everybody should be. But who are you going to blame? What are you going to do? That's the thing. Uh, you can't blame these players for not having the skill to do better. I mean, yeah, Rafael is saying, can we just start a future cup, boys? Yeah, that was the nicest thing about this season till now. Rafael is saying, I love you all from Indonesia, by the way. I live in Singapore. It's Spain having to wake up just to watch this. Love your post game talks, though. Thank you so much, uh, Rafael. Um, thank you, and uh, good to good to see <laughs> good to see fans from abroad as well. Um, <clears throat> and then I have from. Uh, let me see. Um, oh, the ultras are. I'm um, sorry. He, so I'm sorry. I'm going too fast. Sorry. Murder Inc. is saying the ultras are gathered at the Rembrandt plant. I see them. All right. So oh, that might happen. Really going. Yeah. Um, I say. I saying, no yeah, I say is saying I'm sure the bus is not going to the arena. Yeah, look, again, there's nothing wrong with, you know, like probably waiting for the bus and showing that you're unhappy with this. I'm just questioning whether that will have an impact because everybody knows at Ajax that this is not acceptable. You know, exactly. everybody knows that this season, last season was not acceptable. So yeah, we can be upset again, but yeah, what will happen? I don't know. I don't know. It's not going to change anything. Exactly. Um, just one moment. Let me go through the last comments. Um, Data Glovelli is saying, Pep Landers is the most suitable coach for Ajax. He can play perfectly with 4 3, three and he has Klopp's philosophy in his mind. All right. Um, only for the week. Thoughts and prayers to the first, to the uh, Ajax fan that got caught in Feyenoord Stadium. Oh, my. Um, that's Jeremy. Uh, Jerry is saying, most disturbing is that there is a war going on within the club and no one prioritizes the club but their own position. I think that's the best comment um, of what's Agreed, going on. Jerry. Everybody is their, has their own agenda. It should be about football. Everybody should be united. So that's the number one problem right now. Uh, Jim Bean is saying, can't go to the arena. There's your own craft run. There are a lot of kids. All right. And Keith is saying, some players who are not from Ajax background, they're not ready for Klosiker. See the fans at training session. Those That's pressure. Yeah. They're professional football players, Keith. I don't agree with that. I know they're young. But they're professionals. They should be able to at least come to a certain standard. Today, there was no standard whatsoever on the pitch. So that's it. That's my view on it. Puppy, any last words? Juan, for this season, no. I just hope it ends soon. I don't see it getting much better. I mean, against Twente, we may have a chance 
we may have a chance depending on what level we bring because we've seen it go up and down many times um but still i i'm i'm at the opinion a good trainer a couple of key signings um and and this team can ball again next season I, i'm i'm really have, convinced of that do you, sorry do you have an idea who would you pick as the next coach if it was up to you i have all the options yeah you have all the options who would you pick it must be a bit realistic of course i mean not come up with guardiola or something but no yeah. i mean look if ten hag gets fired i would like him uh i wouldn't mind game porter it's fine uh chavi would also be uh, good but none of the dutch coaches that have been presented i'm happy with so i i hope they go for a foreign coach all right let's keep it at that for now uh i know ten hag said by the way there was a uh, I think Tanakh said that he won't be come back or he won't go back to Ajax. But anyways, all right, um, guys, uh, sorry for everything basically today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the talk, even though we lost. Let's see what will happen in the next couple of weeks. Next week, Twente. Let's see what will happen with uh, Cruz. Um, we'll see you guys on Thursday and we'll have another, as everybody is saying right now, therapy session. Have a nice Sunday, guys. Take care.